Change is a great and a horrible thing. It's like people love it and hate it at the same time. It's like, but without change, you just don't move. The whole team, myself, I mean, we, we are really fashion people and we really believe that the biggest surprise and delight for the audience is something they don't expect. So, I mean, it is kind of the nature of fashion to change each season, you know, but, um, I have had many, many really uh, interesting and sort of, I think, challenging conversations with Mr. Arnaud about, you know, within that change, trying to create over time a consistent um, idea of who the Vuitton woman is, you know, what does she love and stand for, regardless of the changes of fashion. Are you conscious of a Vuitton woman? Is there a character in your head when you are? You know, I don't, again, I don't think it's necessary to identify one specific woman but it's the quality it's it's a quality within several women that needs to come forward you know and be and be noticed and recognized and those qualities are i mean you mentioned extrovert and kind yeah of i mean again i think of vuitton you know the heritage of this company and i think of the when i think of the bags of vuitton i think clearly mostly of the monogram canvas and i think that is really you know that what to me that stands for is it, it may be very luxurious product and, and it may be a very beautiful bag to carry, but it's also, uh, you know, the most recognizable. And so I think this woman wants to be seen and she wants to be noticed, whether it's because of the handbag she's carrying or the coat she's wearing or all of the above. And um, so, so again, there's, there's nothing kind of apologetic or shy about it. She's, she's strong whether she's gentle or whether she's youthful or... or more mature, whatever, she's definitely an extrovert. And has this sense of, of character or characters, um, has, has this evolved over time? Because I remember when I spoke to you before, you said when you first started, like going back 13, 14 years, you weren't quite sure, you didn't have anything specific in mind. I think, you know, again, it, it, so much has changed since the beginning, but in the beginning, it was very difficult to figure out. I mean, I guess it was my head that would tell me, well, I don't want to do what people expect. But if you don't give them what they expect, then they're disappointed. And if you give them what they expect, they're disappointed. So, you know, there's always that bit of finding out what you can play with, how you play with it. And I guess also there's, you know, there's time plays a part in all of that. And, and again, I'm a big believer in evolution rather than revolution. And so I think, you know, you can't get to point Z without going through A, through X, Y, etc. So we couldn't have arrived where we are today without having gone through all those years that came before. And as there was no archive of ready to wear and there was no heritage of ready to wear at Louis Vuitton, we need, you need time to invent that. You can't do that in a season, you know. <laughs>